Hello guys, Lost for Five here. I'm an at gamer. You're an at gamer. We're all at gamers, and I am bringing you another video on Redstone. I already tried this once, and we had a phone call, so I got interrupted. So sorry if the displays aren't 100% of what they were. I tried to fix it again, so that everything is. But uh, other than that, let's go. So Redstone is an element used to provide power and circuitry through objects like dispensers, repeaters, and that stuff. For those of you, this is basically by, by the way, guys. Um. And if you hit it with your right clicking of your mouse, it gives you light, like I have done here. So you see some light, compared to the pitch black darkness. Uh, time day. There we go. Now I got... Oh, really, chicken? You laid another egg. It's two eggs, two videos, guys. Chicken loves you. But, uh, last video, I had a friend tell me that the one he didn't understand truly was, um, uh, redstone climbing up walls and how to get power up walls. First thing first, Notch has made it so that mine, in Minecraft, redstone does not go up walls. There is a mod that will allow vertical redstone, but I do not have it installed, and personally, I'd rather just use my methods I use here. And, uh, what those methods are, are, uh, stairs cases. Um, build stairs as if you were going to walk up things, you know, here's some bricks, let me show you. Let's build a basic staircase like this, and, uh, just drag redstone up it, and... That will transfer the power up to whatever at the top of the stairs or wherever you drag the redstone to. Another method, and one that's very easy to disguise, is this. Um, all you'd have to do to disguise it is simply put a brick wall around everything but the piston in this, and you couldn't see, you wouldn't be able to see the torches. So, if I press this torch, the bottom torch right here is lit, and that means the piston is extended. If I press this torch right here. It means the piston is folded in on itself, and this bottom torch is off. Um, let me basically tell you how, how that happens, guys. If I come over here to show you it, is that redstone torches, well, actually it's easier to just go over there, uh, carry power from, basically they power up one block, whether it's the block above it, block on the side of it, whatever, powers up one block. Two redstone t torches powering the same block means one of the torches has to be burnt out or turned off like that. That's why since this block is being powered by this tor uh, lever, this is glowing and these two are both unpowered. That means that this torch is allowed to shine and that one's turned off and therefore the energy to the piston is not being supplied. When you press it again, this block is now allowed power to turn on. This one gets no power because this one turns it off. This one gets power and this one turns this one off. Now there's power applied to the top block and the piston is receiving power so the piston can extend. Another way to get power up that I didn't include last year, guys, is you can build uh, one, a big stack of blocks, basically. You know, just kind of go whoosh, 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 up. And uh, delete every... Oh, snowing again. Really? Minecraft? You gotta... You really gotta stop snowing on me. Each video has weather effects. I'll leave the snow. I like it. No, I don't. Goodbye, snow. It's not Christmas. It's not Christmas in July. You ain't got no pancake mix. But, oh, uh, yeah. So, you build a big thing, you delete every other, I'm not going to do it because uh, it would turn this torch off, I believe, but um, build it up, delete every other block and place redstone torches every other block, and that will carry power up to the top block, in which case you can put a piston up there, and the piston would be extended. It's the same thing as this, only this is uh, a for sure method that is easy to use for me. Um, redstone torches have an on and an off state, and it's toggleable by putting a lever a line of redstone, a block, and then a redstone torch. That's the easiest way I know of, and that's... Stupid chicken, get off my lever. Um, you can't turn me on, chicken. Uh, so basically, this is what I use in the piston staircase, and this is what I highly recommend using for turning things on and off. There's two chickens now. By the way, guys, that's how you launch eggs. Um, oh wow, more chickens. But uh, yeah. Oh, really? More eggs? Really? Chicken? You're, you're disrupting the video, chickens. But, uh, yeah. Redstone circuit, this. Check out the piston video. I go more in-depth in the piston video. This is... I failed attempt at an RS Nor latch. It actually does work, but not quite the way you guys would probably like it to. Uh, it's built so that this side is the side that you, uh, come in at. And basically, you just press the switch right here. The door is open, come back over here, and once you're walked inside through the door, press the switch, the door is closed. It's a very simple on and off thing for a door. Uh, useful, but simple, like I said. Oh, 
going ahead myself. Um, basically, you just build the RS Nor latch I showed you last video. This is an extended version of the RS Nor latch, so you'd have to walk a tidbit of the way to uh, do some stuff. You can make it really small if you want to, but I don't recommend that for this kind of thing. Uh, then I grab one piece of redstone and I dragged it down here to supply power. And then I used the method I showed you earlier the bricks, where I placed a redstone torch and a block above it, and put the door on the block that's being powered by the redstone torch. So, when this block is receiving power, this torch goes off, and this door is now closed. If you're over there, the other strip is receiving power, this strip is off, and the redstone torch is allowed to shine, so the door is open. That's a very... S really? Another egg? Really? You really want to keep laying eggs, don't you? You really... You yeah, I heard that egg. I heard that egg. Stupid chicken. Suck my hair, my snowball. There we go. Suck that chicken. But, uh, yep. That's basically that. And now we're gonna go over to... Is the end gate? No. What is this? This is... Oh, yeah, this is the clock system. Oh, there's the egg. But, yeah, uh, this is the clock system. This is a 7 clock, and it's actually an 8 clock because I have this repeater right here to delay the circuitry flow. And what happens is the power, like the 5 clock, just simply travels through here. And like I was talking last time, I place this piece of redstone here, thanks to the power of the clock, it opens and closes. Opens and closes. This would be useful for a custom app, because I'm going to get rid of this because it's kind of annoying. But, um, it would be useful for a custom app, because in a custom app, you could, uh, make it so that it's toggable by a switch like Captain Sparkles does. Check out his video for that. Uh, totally awesome video for explaining this. But it's really just that simple. Very useful for custom maps. If you are ever going to make a custom map with this, be sure uh, that you get two more info than what I'm showing you here. But um, basically what you could do, I believe, is put a piston here that will extend... Oh, no. You put the piston in... I don't know, somewhere here. And it would push this block in and back and forth, you know so that it would um, go on and off of the circuitry and the door would be activated and unactivated by pressing a simple lever button. I can go more into that in another video. Be sure to comment below if you want to know more about anything in this video because I'll be sure to get straight to it for you guys next video. Um, the AND gate. Last time I really wasn't too, the AND gate was really simple to explain but I really wasn't too clear on its purposes. This is something that could be useful in a custom app. Let me tell you, if you remember the AND gate, it was a really simple thing to build and you just place one, two, three. And you place the torch here, torch here, torch here, piece of redstone there, and that turned off this torch. Oh, let me get rid of this torch. Do a torch. And uh, then you just drag that, this one, to the object you want opening and closing, and these two are the switches. That's the AND gate. If you remember, think of the AND gate, if it was like right here with these three blocks, I actually have this AND gate set up so that this switch is the switch that leads the torch on the farthest side towards the door over there. And this switch is the side that is farthest from the door. It's kind of hard to explain, but you'll show it when I open it up. But um, basically, what you'll want to do if you do build your end gate like this, is have your one thing really close to the one side, and then you can use this one and just drag it anywhere throughout the map. Anywhere, with redstone and redstone repeaters. Very... You can even delay the circuitry so much that by the time they finally get here, the door opens or closes depending on how fast they get there. If you don't understand me, guys, I know I'm talking really fast because I can feel it in my face. I know I'm just weird like that. But, um, that's what she said, by the way. Uh, simple as uh, commenting below, and I can explain what I said in better detail next time. But, uh, basically, yeah, so right now these switches are both on, meaning the two torches in the room are on, and they are not supplying power to the third one, I mean, yeah, the R spline part of the third one, so the door is closed because it's not open. Okay, press this lever, and you press this lever, and the door is now open, and cleverly, you can't see where the redstone is hiding, but I'm a nice guy. Oh, wow, I turned it. Ooh, creepy dungeon. Uh-oh, I deleted the redstone there. Sorry, guys, hold on. There we go. See, this is what I was talking about. So, basically what I have here is I have the redstone hiding into the circuit over here by the door. You come over here, you can see there's the door. I just simply hit this up with this. And for these two, as I showed you before, this actually is the farthest one, but one closer to the door. It comes around here, and it goes all the way to that switch right there, while this one just comes right here and goes to that switch. 
And let me go toggle these on and off again for you guys. Last video was over 15 minutes, so I had to shrink it a bit. Or speed it up. And see, now that one torch is activated, the middle one is not. Really? Another egg? Really, chickens. It's gonna be a long video if you keep laying eggs. Uh, then snow happens again. Oh, wait. I'm dead. And now you come in here and you see these are here, so the torch is not activated. And the door is closed. Really nice invention for custom apps or for your security systems on your server. If you're scared about people taking it. By the way, guys, if you didn't know, you just right click to throw an egg, and that can actually, um, what's it called? Turn, uh, what am I thinking of? It can actually give a chance of spawning one to three chickens from an egg if you right click it and throw it. So, this is kind of something where I threw a bunch of stuff together, the hatches, and, uh, something else I put in here from last video. So, it's real simple, you press this lever here. Oh, really? Oh, well, no, I forgot I delayed it. So, now this is open, and you can come right in here if you're talented enough. Check in! And, check get it back over there. Here. Derp, derp. Cheese. Spawn zombie. Opu, oh, opu, oh, opu. Oh, I forgot. Spawn pig. Okay. Pig, go in there. Basically, what you could do is push this pig into the stupid hole. Okay, not gonna go over that long enough. But I made it so that there's an inside mechanism. You can actually close this door by laying another egg chicken. Uh, close this door by deleting any of this redstone here. Or I can actually make another torch to do that if I wanted to. But um, what I have here is two hatches. And basically these are toggable open and off like I showed you. Chicken! Chicken, you're gonna kill me. On and off by switches. See, he was trying to kill me. He was trying to get to that button over there. So, if you press this button, the first hatch is quickly opened. I haven't delayed it all, so you won't be able to see it. But if you press it, the hatch right there is... Pig? I'm wishing I hadn't spawned you now. But, um... <laughs> very interesting video, guys. But, yeah, so... Just make these hatches openable so if a player in your world is trying to get into your house, you can press one of these buttons. The hatches... Yeah, actually, let me just do this for you guys. Oh, I can just use torch. Place this here. Okay, fine, I'll do this. Sorry guys, I messed this up correctly. And this opens up both of these hatches. So, there's lava down there, and it automatically falls. It's what the button does, and you could probably just do a lever. Uh, but I used a button for the simplicity of I had one on my person at that time. There's an egg. Oh. Yep. Simple as that. Awesome house tech defense mechanism. Um, if any of this stuff you guys want to see, I can... Uh, I'm going to do this real quick for you guys. This is kind of the setup you'll want to use. I can show you the underground part of this if you want. Me too. Just tell me and I will... Uh, film a mini video and put like an annotation link on this part of the video but uh that's the last part of this video actually guys so other than that hopefully let's throw this egg maybe if we're lucky we'll get something from it nope no chickens but yep simple as that guys more redstone of invasions very useful stuff i hope you've enjoyed it i'm gonna fly over real quick so that you guys can uh see some stuff here Okay, yep, that's it. Video is over. Other than that, guys, have a nice day. Anything else you want to learn, tell me. Check out my other part one video to this, and check out my uh, Piston Staircase video for some awesome stuff involving Redstone. And uh, part three will be up soon, probably. Have a nice day. See you on the far side. Other than that, Redstone me.